Okay, in this uh, series of videos I'm going to show you how to paint these objects in Photoshop using only the basic airbrush and uh, using a mouse. Now, why? Okay, there's a few reasons. Um, the, the main thing is this exercise hopefully will show you, will increase your awareness of how light and shade will show a form of an object. That's the big deal. Um, how does <clears throat> the direction of light shadows and the shading show the form of an object. The, the basic sh shapes that you find in nature <clears throat> are cylinder, sphere, and cone. And um, it was not my brilliance, that was Paul Cezanne, the great painter, who pointed that out. And if you think about it, it's true. Everything that you see in nature can be broken down in one of those shapes. Um, so if you know how to paint those, you're in good shape. The other thing I wanted, the reason this exercise, I put this together, is because I want you to be able to use the basic airbrush and only the mouse. That's because not every person has a stylus, um, and not every person has all the brushes available to them and so on. But, but mostly because most people have, a, have only the mouse, do not have a tablet, and do not have a stylus. So I wanted to show this process, uh, how this works, that you, you know, using only the mouse and using only the basic airbrush, you can get some, you can define form uh, in paintings in Photoshop. So that's, that's the reason why we're doing this. Let's get started first by setting up the file. File, new. Eventually it'll open up any day now. There it goes. What uh, I want you to do is make a file 2000 by 2000 pixels. The resolution, this is rather high, but I'm doing it on purpose. I'm making the resolution 240, just so you can see the fine grain of the sh shading that you're doing. So that's your specs, 2000 by 2000 pixels, 240 DPI. Click Create. There you go. And um, in our next video, oh, pardon me, not yet. We save your file, file, save as. I made a basic shapes folder, so save your PSD file in a known location. Call it shapes, and I'm going to put my initials in there. Shapes, your initials is fine. PSD, and it's in a folder where you know where it exists. Click save. Now we're ready to roll. So I'll see you in the next video and we'll get started.